Hello and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha and today we have a uh, haul from Shein. I did about three small orders and they've all arrived. So uh, we're going to do a little haul. Um, before we start, um, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and we'll get into the haul. First of all, we've got some of these Easter stickers. They can go on windows or walls or any of those things. That one and that one. So that will be a nice little addition to the stickers that I got last time. And we also got some more tattoos. The kids love tattoos, so you know we'll <laughs> certainly use them. Uh, we've got Unicorns, back to the beginning. I think that's back to the beginning. And we've got mermaids. These are only like $1.50 a packet, so you get quite a lot for $1.50, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, got these lion ones. Lions and koalas. Is that dinosaurs? Kitty cats. Um, <laughs> Care bears are back in, and my daughters love them. Um, these are tattoo stickers. Tattoos or stickers? It just says tattoo stickers. So I'll have to have a look. Maybe they're like transfer stickers. And so it's inexpensive. Like <laughs> the beginning again. And one of my daughters has a birthday coming up soon, so um, between that and Christmas, I thought I'd grab a few extra things. So we've got these Care Bear socks. And they actually feel like really good quality. Like they're only um, a few dollars and you get three pairs. So I want to say like five or six dollars for the whole packet. And um, yeah, maybe you get a cute little bag <laughs> if you wanted to reuse that. Um, if you watched my last haul, um, you would know that. Uh, my daughters have a little fairy garden out in the garden, a little fairy area, and I bought some of these little, <clears throat> they're resin mushrooms for their little garden, so that'll be fun, a few more little bits. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, these are nail stickers, so those. they are all just iridescent flowers. Oh, 
and you get a lot. And these weren't expensive either. When I pick things like this up, they're really only a couple of dollars. Don't spend money on them. So that one's Love Hearts. This one. Foes. It's like little firework designs or flowers. Well, get a lot in that. Uh, let's see what's next. Let's do these bits next and leave the makeup till last. So we have a couple of cats and um, we have two kitty litters because we have two cats. Um, if you have cats with kitty litters, then you know <laughs> kitty litter ends up everywhere like not just around the kitty litter trays somehow it magically wanders throughout the house and we find it everywhere um, <laughs> so I've, I've, I've been seeing these mats everywhere um, on social media uh, I think they have them at Timu as well but I bought this one from Shein um, it cost about 20 bucks and I got the largest size that I could get so that it fit across the front of both of the kitty litters so it's got this it's like holes in it this is velcro put my hand behind there so the kitty litter goes through the holes and then it catches in the bottom and you just tip it out tip it back into the kitty litter and this, there's a little velcro bit to hold it so that's quite large and um, i decided to get this brown color because the tiles in our laundry are brown and that's where the kitty litters are so um that's that uh i picked this up um it also wasn't very expensive, I think maybe $10. Uh, I thought it might be a good backdrop to use for my filming. So you get these little um, hooks that you can, I think you just bang them into the wall and it holds them like little tapestry things. I don't, I'm not sure if I'll use that or not. But I think this is this is kind of like a polyester, like a let's see. It's very light, like it, it's like it's like swim board short material. That's what it's like. It's like polyester. So just see if I can. Anyway, I thought that might be nice. Um, maybe I could use it as a backdrop uh, for filming when I get myself organised a bit better <laughs> in a little filming spot. Um, so that's that's everything that wasn't makeup. <laughs> so you now we've got makeup. So I picked up um, another couple of these Chroma Glow liquid highlighters and they got one in the last haul so um, these are the th three new colored highlighters that they have so like this shades are solar flare and star stardust so so this one is the stardust one So pretty. <laughs> that one is Stardust. And this one is Solar Flare. Oh, 
very orange color. So that one, this one here is Stardust and this one over here is Solar Flare. There we go. You see the two different ones. Very nice. Very nice. And I didn't bring a tissue. This is the She Glam Hot Gloss Plumping Lip Gloss. Um, if you watch my shop, my stash, you would know that I like to keep a plumping gloss in my shop, my stash every time. Um, and I put it on while I'm putting the rest of my makeup on just to plump my lips up a bit because they're not very thick. They're not very plump in the best of times. It doesn't smell like anything. It just smells like lip gloss. It's got a... Um, can you see? It's a bit bent, but it's quite a large doe foot. There it is. Uh, well, it's quite thick too. It's got a nice thickness to it. And when you put it on, it does a click to make sure it's um, closed properly. But that's there's not really much colour to it, um, not really, a, a, a slight corally tint to it, but not much, not really worth mentioning. <clears throat> and the other thing, I got these three from the, the Frida range, these are the Glam Self Portrait Cream Blushes. Um, they are pretty much the same formula, I think, than the formula as the other cream blushes in the pots, I think. Um, they had some in the Picnic range and also they, they, they bought the colours out from the Picnic range in the Permanent range and they, they put the Permanent range in larger pots. So these are from the Frida range. Um, to my knowledge, these are not in the Permanent range. Uh, and they're much more like brighter, vibrant colours. So this one is in the colour Flower Crown. Nice, vibrant, like hot pink. It's almost like a hot pink. Find a spot. So even though it's a vibrant colour, you could easily blend it out nicely. The next colour is Modern Woman. That is like a red. Oh, it's it's kind of like a corally red, like an orangey red. Um, certainly against that pink, anyway. And this one is called Folk Art. Oh, and it's a uh, more of an uh, more of an orange, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, it's more of a That's this one here. This is the folk art. It's more of a. This is more of an orange, and this is more of a red, I think. And this is the hot pink. So they're much more vibrant than the other um, 
the other shades. I've actually got one on my cheeks at the moment. This is the Spring Blossom, I think it's called. Spring Blossom one. I'm not sure if you can tell. Anyway, um, that's those little blushes. Um, I also picked up... Corpse Bride Beaming Butterfly Highlighter. Oh, holographic. That's cool. That is nice. So pretty. See if I can see that. It's just here. Let's see if I can build it up a little bit. It's not really showing. It's kind of like a very purpley bluey. <clears throat> okay, can you see that? There we go. It's just here. Okay, try that. It's exciting. Now, this is the big one. This is the exciting one. I haven't had a look yet. This is the Harry Potter. It's the four. Um, it's the four eyeshadow palettes in the Harry Potter range. Oh, this spins. And opens up. It's magnetic. like this is like waxy paper it's, it's not like tissue paper or anything so I'm not going to swatch these yet but we'll have a look at them so I'll, I'll probably put out a short open door nice so there's three mats and one shimmer then we've got Ravenclaw. That is two mattes and two shimmers. Hufflepuff. And that is three mattes and one shimmer. Yes. And I don't know if you can see the embossing on it, on the pans. And Slytherin. Very nice. Everything feels very nice. Very good quality. There's lots of embossing. Um, this one is two shimmers and two mattes. There's embossing on the packaging. There's embossing on the eyeshadow. And I think that whole pack cost about $25. So it was actually cheaper 
if you're going to buy them all to get the packs and to get them individually so that's what I did um, that is everything for our haul today and I hope you enjoyed it if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye